mid-July in uh, Bill's Garden here in Fremont, California. On the, this is a follow-up on using biochar in the garden. I had a number of uh, comments and replies from people who watch me making biochar over here in my Weber grill and spreading it across the, the garden. There were concerns that perhaps the biochar uh, contained some hydrocarbons or there might be problems with the production and so on. Uh, and it, it didn't appear to be. I can't say that we've done this as a scientific experiment. Uh, my garden isn't rocket science and so But I, I think if you take a look over here, uh, right there behind me, I've got a crop of Hawaiian super sweet corn over here and that's where I put the biochar down. It appears to be one of the better crops of corn I've grown in a while. Um, we went ahead and took the soil where my bananas had been growing, took the bananas out, put down a little bit of compost. Uh, I used some composted chicken manure on the site and, and a bit of a quality organic fertilizer, then spread the homemade biochar across the patch. Um, kind of raked it all together without tilling the site and went in and planted my sweet corn seeds. I'd say the proof's in the pudding. Uh, on the far end of the patch we have already begun to harvest Silver Queen which is a, a good old-time mainland hybrid variety. Uh, that one comes earlier. The quality's been really good. We've been happy with it. Um, the Hawaiian Super Sweets are a little later. Probably about uh, maybe two weeks or so out from beginning to pick these, but I can see already that the ears are sizing up wonderfully. Take a look here. You can see the ears. Uh, every stalk appears to have at least one really good ear in it. Uh, some of them have two. The evenness of the maturity it seems pretty good. Um, a couple stalks are a little weaker, kind of got behind, but by and large, almost all the corn appears to be uh, in about the same uh, age range. I suspect the harvest should uh, be ready evenly within about a week of each other. The outside edge of the patch I planted zucchini. Um, and the zucchini's done very well. We're getting some really nice quality fruit. Uh, my son has commented on how nice this zucchini tastes. Here's a look at the uh, zucchini. Perfect size for picking right now. Exactly the way I like it. Uh, I really don't care for these when they're big large overgrown so th this is perfect right here and as I said the quality of the uh, the flesh has been really really good again these are growing in the biochar experimental patch here you should be able to make out the uh, fragments of the charcoal that are laying here in my soil um, most of them are about so big um, and this, this is the biochar that I made back in April. Uh, there's a video uh, on the YouTube site there. It shows me producing this biochar in my Weber grill from the slashings from the trees in my yard and trees in customers' yards. Um, I can't say really whether the biochar has made all the difference in this corn patch or not, but uh, the corn certainly is happy and healthy. So. There definitely could not have been any problems from the biochar. Uh, I am feeling that the corn is using less water and that the fertilizer seems to be uh, more even than usual. I didn't have any interruptions in the growth. Uh, we don't appear to have any kind of nutrient deficiencies over here. Um, they only received the, the one application early in the spring. So uh, that's a short little video about the biochar experiment, but I just wanted to follow through and uh, let you all see that it seems to be working out fine over here. I actually am going to continue the process of making biochar here uh, on the site using my Weber grill, gradually spreading it through the gardens because I uh, believe I am noticing an improvement in the growth of my plants where I've used it. I think biochar is the most fascinating because it was an ancient technology that's now being reapplied in the 21st century. That's very much cutting edge. Happy gardening. See you next time.